So we got our game time promo. And wow, 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 wow. Is this promo insane? So we start off with a Micah Parsons, okay? 87 speed, 87 acceleration, 78 strength, 80 tackle, 83 play rack, 82 block shed, 82 uh, power move, and 88 finesse move. Already cool, right? Next card, Brock Bowers. 85 speed, 64 strength, 86 catching, 88 catching traffic, 89 spec catch, 87 short route running, 84 mean route running, and 69 run block. Okay. A little cracked. We got CJ Stroud. 80 speed, 88 throw power, 85 throw short, 84 throw middle, 85 throw deep, 88 throw on the pressure, 87 throw on the run, and 87 play action. We got Nate Wiggins. 88 speed, 88 salvation, 89 agility, 89 jumping, 74 play rack, 89 man, 87 zone, and 88 press. Now, here is the biggest dilemma ever. So they gave him 88 speed, Xavier Worthy. Now, Xavier Worthy is the fastest wide receiver, honestly, the fastest player in the NFL, right? And I was thinking, what would they give him speed-wise? Because realistically, speaking-wise, again, being the fastest guy, I was thinking, like, would they go crazy and give him 90 speed, right? Because, obviously, he's super fast, and... Anyone who gets a card after him, if they get above him, because someone's going to get 89 speed eventually, they're not faster than Xavier Worthy, so it's kind of weird. And usually with Tyreek Hill cards, whenever he gets a new card, it's like his his speed usually is game-breaking. It's usually like, oh, Cheetah got a card. Cheetah's going to get a card that's like crazy speed. I mean, it's, it's stupid speed, right? And that's like the whole thing with Tyreek Hill. And Xavier Worthy is faster than Tyreek Hill. So, I thought it was maybe game-breaking speed, but it's not. It's just 88 speed in the end, which I guess it is what it is. I understand EA's point of view that, you know, they don't, they're not trying to <laughs> break the game. Especially this year, how they're trying to make everything go slow. So, I do understand it. I just... I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Anyway, then we got the field pass, which gives you a lot of 82 plus overall packs, uh, either bound to account versions or 80 uh, overall auctionable players. And that goes all the way down to some 284 plus overalls, bound to account, or 282s. You get to choose. You also get a crap ton of coins, by the way, which is really, really cool. Um, and then for the next challenges here, this is going to be the solo challenges. Again, back to your bound your account or auctionable and tradable uh, cards, which is cool. And then you have this. So this is the head-to-head -head event, which says you get an 87 overall Trey Main Edmonds, who is auctionable and has a 250k quick sell, which is interesting. Now, lineup restrictions is your max team overall is an 81 overall. You are limited to seven golds or worse players, must have eight game time players in your lineup, must have minimum of two heroes or champion game time cards. So we're about to see the biggest finesse work from the Madden community as always when it comes to these type of uh, restricted lineups, I'll say. Mad Community does a great job with this. Anyway, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.